So in the first playlist, we talked about how to how to create a Google form and related sheet. Uh, this is going to talk about how do we test additions, changes, and deletions to this form, and how does that show up in the sheet. So uh, the example here is we're going to, to take an existing form, and we're going to add uh, a new question. And so let's just say we're going to say, how much sleep do you usually get? And I might as well make that, uh, that radically correct, and we're going to make this a, a short answer. And uh, what, what happens is, is that we're now, if we jump over to the responses, uh, we can actually see, uh, if we go to the sheet, uh, we can see we now have automatically added uh, kind of this field. And if we say, you know, that's an awfully long field for us to work with, what we want to do instead is just to call this sleep hours. Uh, then what we're able to do is to say, let's work with that. Um, and what I'm going to do is to copy this off. And uh, I'm going to add this as a sheet too, because what that does is to give me uh, an, an easy way to be able to track kind of what I had, and I'll show you why that's important in the next step, because if we go back then to our form, uh, let's go back to our kind of first page just so you see that. Uh, if we're here in the form, and uh, let's create a, a, a test uh, kind of response. So we're going to go to the preview, and then we're going to complete this, and I'll pause. So entering this survey response, we're going to submit it. And then what we're able to do is to go back out to our responses and say, OK, we've gotten a response. But we know we can go directly out here. And we can see that what we have is we have a responses. And what you see, too, is that it did retain the sleep hours, which was the revised name. And so now if we go back to the survey, and we're looking at our questions, and we say, actually, what we want to do is to insert uh, a, a new uh, question. And we want to have that question is, is uh, the, the city that they're in. So we're going to call that's going to be a short answer. And we're going to say, fine, let's add that. Now, if we jump back to the survey form, know that it added city here, although we entered it. Again, looking here. We entered city after last name. Um, so that meant that uh, we, but what you can also see is by jumping back and forth, right? By adding in city, we've reverted back to how many hours of sleep do you get? So we can paste that back in and say, great, so we're back to sleep hours and know that that's going to change again the second that we modify the form. Now in our form, if we actually change this and we say, let's put in a new answer, what's that going to do on our form? So taking another look at our form, uh, what we're going to do is if we go back to our form responses, we're going to see this. And let's just do a quick refresh just so we see it. Um, we now have at night how many hours. Notice that it's still in the same column, so we were able to change the header. Uh, but we didn't change the date or the, the data that we had stored. So I've changed this now back to sleep hours. And if I go back to my survey form and I say this time what I'd like to do is to say rather than a short answer, we want to do this as a multiple choice. And let's just say our first option is, uh, is less than eight hours. Um, and we say great. So let's just hang on to that. And we say, great, we're going to carry that. So what does that do when we look back at it? Uh, we haven't picked up a new field. So let's go back here. And we create this survey form and submit that. And we go back and look at our uh, survey forms. What we're seeing now is, is that we actually have carried data uh, in the same 
field. So, right, so we've got the number of hours, which is shorthand, so we've actually changed the type and we pick up a different one. This is really important as we look at how to evaluate across different types uh, using the zaps and moving it to Salesforce or wherever we need to. As a last test, if what we want to do is to delete a field, so let's say we want to delete city, uh, and so we're going to throw that one away, uh, and we look back at our form, um, we still have city here, uh, but what you'll see is it's not available on the form. And then if what I do is I say what I want to do is to add a, a new, and I've got the same spot, right? I add a new one here and I want to call it city. Um, what's it going to do? We go back out to look at the form. It creates an additional city, which you can see would get confusing if we're looking at how to process information. And it's reverted back our headings to the old names. Lots to think about as you build and look at how best to convert information.